recording, I think. Okay, so I'm going to charge it. Can you see, if you come close, there are lots of bubbles of gas coming off. I'm only charging it at 4 volts. I'm going to now turn it off. The bubbling should stop. I'm going to now, this should have some charge in it, even only after those few seconds, as long as I don't touch. And I'm going to take it to the bowl. Any signs of life would be great. Now the battery is charged, but it only charge, holds the charge for a certain amount of time. So I've run the charge down on the lead acid battery. So it just shows that you need to constantly recharge it. I'm going to now recharge at 4 volts. And what we could do, we could do an activity where we actually time the charge time and look at the discharge time. So I'll do that again. I don't know if you can actually see it bubbling on the camera. Can you see the bubbles of gas? Here's the light bulb coming in. Usually this will click off. Usually it's shorts it out if I use a higher voltage. When, when you actually charge a car battery, if you've got a flat car battery, what do you always have to take off before you charge it? Well, we've got gas coming off, so what do you need to take off? The caps. There's caps on the cells, because if you don't, you could have an explosion. And if you've got an explosion with lots of sulfuric acid of this concentration, you'll do an awful mess. I mean, if a car battery turns over inside a car and pours acid out, you'll basically ruin the engine. Right, now I'm going to try and light the bulb again. There you go. So that's the amount of charge. So that's the lead acid battery demonstrated to you. I'm going to just stop that. I don't know if it's actually...